let us discuss about the effect of change in frequency on stopping potential in the experiment of photoelectric effect. We have recently discussed in the previous section that in the variation of current in the discharge tube of photoelectric effect with the voltage, the curve is plotted like this, in which on the reverse potential V naught. The current becomes zero, which we term as a stopping potential. So this is the potential which is capable of stopping the fastest kinetic energy electron. So we can write uh, as we know Ke max is equals to h nu minus phi. This fastest energy is stopped by the stopping potential V naught. So here we can write this maximum kinetic energy is E V naught, which is h nu minus phi, and the work function can be written as h nu threshold. This is an equation which we can term as equation one, and we can write this equation one is called Einstein equation of photoelectric effect. Now here we can see that the stopping potential mainly depends on the frequency of incident radiation. So here if we rewrite this equation, it can be written as the stopping potential is equals to h by e nu minus h nu threshold by e. Here you can see that the stopping potential is linearly dependent on the frequency of incident light. So this equation can be compared as y is equals to m x plus c. So in this situation, on increasing frequency, stopping potential also increases. So if this curve is plotted at a frequency nu one, and in this situation, if we increase the frequency to nu two, which is more than nu one. Uh, we can see that uh, at a higher frequency, the ejected electrons will have more kinetic energy than at zero potential. Also, the current will be more. So the graph will be plotted like this. But here you can see the saturation current will not going to be changed because we already discussed that uh, on increasing the frequency, the kinetic energy of photo electrons will increase. But the total number of electrons will remain same, so total current will remain same. And here you can see the pinch of voltage Vp also remains the same. But here to stop the increased kinetic energy photoelectron, we need more reverse voltage, so it requires Vo2. If this is Vo1, so we can say V naught two is the stopping potential which is required to stop the higher kinetic energy electron. So the curve will change like this. But the saturation current remains same because the photon flux is not changing, and here we can say uh, the total saturation current will remain same. So in this situation, on changing frequency, we can see stopping potential varies linearly, and if we just plot a curve in frequency and the stopping potential, then it will be a straight line shown like this. And here we can see the slope of a straight line tan theta. We can write as h by e, and the curve starts from point nu is equals to nu threshold. And if the line is virtually extended, because we cannot draw a solid line as that a frequency less than threshold frequency, no practically photoelectric effect exists in the situation. The intercept on the axis of stopping potential. This will be. H nu threshold by E because it sees the intercept on y axis. So this is the curve which gives us the idea about variation of a stopping potential with frequency, which is a straight line, and this is the curve which gives us the variation of a current in the discharge tube experiment with the varying voltage for different frequencies, keeping a constant photon flux here. Photon flux is constant, where total number of photons incident are not changing, so the current will also remain same.